Now, if you think this is a concept that's decades away, best think again. The makers of the Volt, General Motors, say its production target is uh, November of 2010. That is just two years away. So what does this mean for the future of automakers, oil and gas? And Nick Bonas, who is uh, our newest reporter, is back with us from the DeGroote School of Business again today. Hi, Nick. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good. I, I was just saying uh, after you talked to Connie that I filled up this morning and now you tell me uh, Friday's the worst day to do it. Sorry, anyway, Dan. Sorry. That aside, while we're talking about gas and the price thereof, just how realistic is this electric car that General Motors is talking about? It? Uh, or is it a gamble, do you think? Well, it's creating a lot of buzz, obviously. Uh, you know, it's on the production. It's in the, it's into the design stage. All the pieces of the car are ready to go for production, except one, and that's the battery. And unfortunately, the battery is the most important part. We have a lot of innovative companies here in Canada that are doing fuel cell research. So it could be actually a boon for a Canadian company if GM decides to use one of the manufacturers from Canada. GM needs this product big time. Their stock is at a 25-year low. In the last Last five years alone, General Motors has lost $44 billion in cumulative profits. So uh, we need the Chevy Volt for GM to turn around their business. Yeah, the batteries have always been the problem in these electric cars. GM has uh, developed an electric car before. Uh, what makes this different than what they did in the past? Well, about five years ago, GM had what was called the Saturn EV1. The problem with that car was that it was, first of all, ugly. Uh, the Chevy <laughs> Volt's actually a nice looking car. Uh, it used old technology, lead acid batteries. It was only a two seater. Um, you couldn't charge the car from home like you can with the Chevy Volt, so that's very convenient. And the biggest problem, of course, was the maximum speed. It could only go up to about 120 20 kilometers an hour, so I'm sure it would be stretched on the highway, whereas the Chevy Volt can go up to about 190 kilometers an hour, so it's a full-fledged sports car, uh, in my opinion. So I think GM uh, has actually turned 180 degrees with the Chevy Volt. It's a significant improvement from what they had five years ago. Nick, we've been looking at concept cars for years. The Volt, uh, obviously, this is, this is something that's getting very close to reality. What could that mean to the future of oil and gasoline, and for that matter, electricity? Well, obviously, you know, if, if we want to put our Star Trek goggles on, we're looking at 40, 50 years. I mean, we got to have more of these cars. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, oil prices are going through the roof. Uh, gas prices are sure to follow. So we got to come up with alternative means, you know, cars mm -hmm. that work with hydrogen, uh, cars that work with water, cars that work with garbage. I mean, we have to come up with the inventions. The engineers have to basically develop these new types of automobiles so that we can continue to, be, to transport ourselves. I mean, I'm still waiting for that little car that actually turns into a hovercraft. I mean, I think that would be really, really cool. <laughs> the Jetsons. <laughs> yeah, something like that. How much, just a ballpark, do you think a vehicle like a DeVolt would cost initially? Well, it, it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be about $30,000. So for a car to cost $30,000 in the year 2010, I mean, it's not off the scale or anything like that. But the good news is if you were to purchase the car for $30,000, the best part is you'd get a significant amount of tax credits from the government because this car would have basically zero emissions. So uh, you'd probably get about at least four or $5,000 back from the government in form of credit. So it's a reasonable priced vehicle. It's not astronomical. You pay that much for a motorcycle these days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Nick. Thank you for this, and we'll look. Uh, we'll look for the promotion on this car coming up, November 2010. They say so. It should be coming along soon. All right. Have a great weekend, everybody. You too. Thanks, Nick.